2021 Avenger 31 RKD um, by Prime Time, which is a Forest River under the Forest River umbrella. Um, this has opposing slides in the living area, two slides, front bedroom. Um, this one is in the Portobello color. Um, has the deluxe graphic package, the bigger air conditioner, the 15,000 BTU. 50 amp service. This unit's going to come in dry weight just over 8,200 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is just over 11,100 pounds. Cargo capacity is just over 2,900 pounds. The hitch weight is 962 pounds. Exterior height is 11 feet 4 inches. Exterior length is 36 feet 6 inches. Exterior width 8 feet. The fresh water capacity is 48 gallons. The black water capacity is 34 gallons. The gray water capacity is 68 gallons. And then the awning size is 13 feet, and that is a power awning. Enclosed underbelly, easy lube dexter axles. Hey, it's Kelly with RV Wholesalers. Today I'm gonna to do a walk around on an Avenger 31 RKD. Um, this is an opposing slide floor plan with a rear kitchen, but it's also going to give you an outside kitchen. I know a lot of the units you look at out there um, have an outside kitchen, but they have bunks. This is going to be a rear kitchen, so it's a pretty unique floor plan, pretty cool. Um, it has a full outside kitchen here. Um, the nice thing is the door is extra high, so I'm almost 6'4", and I can stand underneath here without even ducking. Um, the nice thing as well is the awning comes out right here, which is a power awning, so you can kind of still get into the coach, get into your outside kitchen. If it's uh, got a little bit of a rain going on, plenty of countertop space here. Very nice extra storage, all LED lighting throughout, has a cooktop there. Outside mini fridge, it's going to have the solid steps over here with a large entry grab handle so you can get up into the coach very easily. Um, power awning, outside speakers, so very, very nice. It's going to have stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Now those are just for stabilizing the coach. So when you get to where you're going, you can either take a cordless drill and run those up and down or that handle right there inside the storage compartment to run those up and down. Firm up the coach just to keep it from rocking. You can see, take a look in here and look at how big this pass through storage is. Um, you can see that under the bed there as well. So you can access it from the inside. Again, this is an Avenger by Primetime, which is under the Forest River umbrella. Very nice backing. Um, has a spot for a solar hookup here. Um, we'll do a brand new 12 volt deep cycle battery when we do our uh, dealer prep for you for free. Um, we offer a dealer prep on every unit, which is where we go through and test everything for you. Make sure everything is working properly before you take the unit home. Um, come around here to the back side, you're going to see a couple hookups here. You're going to see a fresh water fill, which is you're going to fill that up before you go dry camping with the coach. Now um, you're going to take your water hose, stick it in there, fill that up. Then you would just use your pump to pressurize the system and um, make sure everything is functioning properly. Um, turn that on and off and then you'll be good to go. Now anytime they have water hookup at the campground, you're going to use your city water connection. Now with that, always make sure you use a water pressure regulator, which is going to reduce the PSI down so you don't have to worry about it bursting any lines or anything like that. This is going to be your black tank flush, which I'll go over that here in just a second as soon as I go over the sewer connections. Um, that's going to flush out the black tank, rinse inside the tank, clean off the sensors, things like that for you. Um, right down here, you're going to see this is going to be your drain for your fresh water tank. And then there's a quick connect down there for the gas line as well. Um, so pretty cool. Outside shower here, which is going to be hot and cold, just like the shower on the inside. Now right down here, you're going to see a couple valves. One has a black handle. One is going to have a gray handle. Um, the black is for your toilet. So that's your black tank. Your gray is for your sinks and your shower, which is going to be your gray. Push them in to close them, pull them out to open them. So what I recommend is hooking the sewer hose up, pull your black valve first, let that drain through, rinse through the tank. Go ahead while that's still open, then we're going to go back to this black tank flush, hook your water hose up to that, 
That's going to spray inside the tank. Rinse out your sewer hose a little bit as well. Shut that off before you close your black tank. Close your black tank, pull the gray, and that's going to finish rinsing out your sewer hose for you. Um, also, you're going to see a blue and a red line down there. Those are the low point drains, so the lowest point in your hot and cold water lines. So if you're winterizing, what have you, you can use those to blow out the lines and make sure you get all the water out as well. Also back here, since it does have a rear kitchen and the bathrooms up there, they run this off of a separate valve, so you have that as well. Water heater here. And then right here, you're gonna have a 50 amp service, okay? So it has a 50 amp hookup right here. It will come with the power cord that just screws right in there. Also, you're gonna have your cable connections here, full size spare. Also, the end cap does pop out of the bumper, so if you wanna store your sewer hose in there, you can do that as well. Has a spot right back here on the back as well. Um, it's actually bolted right into the coach. You can hook up a dog cord, what have you. That way they're not wrapped around the stabilizer jack and bend it all to crazy. Um, that does bolt it right in there for you. Also, you can see here, the um, Nationwide Service Network, that is something that you're gonna get free from us when you purchase your new RV from us. Um, we have over 2,500 service centers throughout the United States and Canada that you all have free access to. Um, to make sure if you have any issues anywhere you travel or camp, that we'll find a place to get you taken care of. Um, also, you can see here, even has a spot for your best bottle of beverage to open that up. They think about everything on these Avengers. Pretty cool. Again, solid steps. You don't have to worry about the ones that are rocking. I mean, these are super solid. Um, you're going to have the large entry grab handle there as well. Screen door separates from the main door. Let's go in here and check out the inside. All right, so here on the inside, you can see, again, this is a huge slide out here, slide out over there with the theater seat, opens this living room up tremendously. Also, you're going to have plenty of countertop space with the rear kitchen here. Um, you can see it does have the stainless steel Everchill 12-volt refrigerator, which is super, super popular right now. Very nice. You can use it while it's going down the road, what have you. Also, it's going to trickle charge the battery as you're plugged in. To your tow vehicle put in the shoreline things like that so very very nice uh, back here you're going to have a three burner cooktop first thing you're going to want to do what i recommend is is once you get to the campsite go ahead and come to your cooktop here go ahead and set these three burners on high light those up let those burn for about 20 seconds or so what that's going to do is it's going to purge the gas lines make sure we get all the air bubbles out of there that way if we want to run the water heater we want to run the furnace what have you on gas everything's going to function properly um, you can see up above here you're going to have the microwave also you're going to have the vent with the light up above anytime you're running your cooktop make sure you have that vent on to exhaust the heat outside of the coach also you're going to have a fan here or no vent excuse me so if you're cooking you can kind of let that stuff get out stainless steel one basin sink nice residential pull out faucet here you can see that very, very nice. And again, over here, just a huge piece of countertop. Very, very nice. Heat is ducted through the floor. The air is ducted through the ceiling in this coach. All LED lighting throughout. Nice big entertainment center. Um, fireplace below looks something just like you'd have in your house. Right across from the theater seating, which will have a footrest cup holder the whole nine yards. Also, it's gonna have a separate couch over here. So if you wanna have several people over at the campground, you can do that as well. This one is gonna have the freestanding table with the four chairs. You can see that, um, very, very nice, especially in a more of a couple's coach here. Don't have to worry about it breaking down into a bed or anything like that. It's gonna give you a little bit more room there for dinner, playing cards, what have you. Right inside the door here, you're gonna have a couple controls. You're gonna have the button for both slide outs. You're gonna have the button for the awning and then some lights. And then right back here, you're gonna have your furnace, air, all that control there. Works just like the one at your home. Well, come in here to the bathroom. You're gonna see a pretty good sized bathroom, nice size shower. And again, this doesn't even have a skylight and I'm almost 6'4 and I can stand up in here with no issues. So very, very nice. A lot of them will have the skylight right over top to give you a little more head clearance. They don't even need it in this. Right around here on this side, you're gonna see a couple more controls. 
um, which you can see here. The one on the top is going to be for the water heater. Okay, that's going to be for the gas and electric. And then right below that is going to be your monitor panel, which will tell you where all the levels are on your tanks. You just push and hold the button. And what it'll do is it'll let you know exactly where the, the level and the tanks are. And then the button below that was the button for the water pump. That is an on-demand pump. So it's not something you got to flip on and off. If you're running off your fresh water tank, it'll automatically sense the pressure and turn on and off the pump for you automatically. Back here in the bedroom, very, very nice because it's plenty of head clearance. A lot of them are super low, kind of feel a little claustrophobic back in there. Um, this is going to give you plenty of room. Um, we have a reading light up above. You're going to have USB hookups on that side. Spot for a TV. This one again, 50 amp. We have it with two airs. This one is non-ducted. The one in the living area is ducted throughout the entire coach. It has a backer here if you want to mount a TV on the wall. And again, plenty of plenty of storage in here. Two big drawers. You have a nice hanging bar going across here in the closet. But this is just an awesome floor plan. Outside kitchen, no bunks, rear kitchen, fireplace. I mean, this thing's got it all. Plenty of plenty of room for what you're getting. And we run crazy, crazy deals on these. Um, we would love to tell you about them. Our nationwide service network, our uh, bill pay, all the things that we offer you for free um, just for purchasing from us. Give us a call and we can go over those things with you. Also, if you do, hey, I really want a bunkhouse floor plan, Avenger has some great bunkhouse floor plans as well. Give us a call, 877-877-4494. Thanks a lot and have a great day.